I just like, no, I haven't done this. I haven't done that yet. Like I, I need to do this before someone else does it. Cause that's like my pet peeve right there. Knowing that someone else did something that I technically had in mind. And after that, like it really disturbs me. But at the same time, I like it. Cause then it shows me that I stop sleeping on shit, you know? But, um, no, I actually don't get uh, a lot of pressure of anything. Yeah, a lot of people just want to know, like, how my experience was doing certain things or not. Or we're always critiquing my work, you know. And I think a few individuals from my crew already know that. Don't tell me the good shit. Tell me the bad shit because I'm trying to grow. And if you're trying to grow, you need to know all the bad shit. And I think a lot of people have a hard time hearing the bad shit. You know, they always want to hear the good shit. And it's like, bro, anybody can tell you anything you want to hear. Or all these positive things. Like, no, tell me the real shit. I want to try to better myself, you know. So, no, they don't really ever tell me to keep going. If anything, they're scared that I might fucking die from this shit, you know? If anything, I, I was I disappeared for like almost two years. I barely came back on February. And it's sad to hear that a lot of people thought I was dead, you know? And uh, they're, I, they already know I'm going to do whatever it is that I want to do. But they just hope that, you know, I'm more careful every single time that I go out there, you know? Because they know, like... There's no fucks given, you know? In fact, as you mentioned, you took a break from graffiti for about two years and just made your comeback in February. Why did you take that break? Can you share with us? And why do you make a return? So I was at a very high peak right before I disappeared. And... Uh, I guess I would, I would say, me personally, if I were to say, I was not ready as much as I thought I was ready to take on these certain responsibilities that I had no experience ever doing in my life, you know? And a lot of things were definitely getting in the way that I didn't learn about maintaining certain things. And then not only that, learning how to have a peace of mind, you know, or looking or searching for peace of mind, you know, because this is when I was actually on social media, you know, and uh, that can be very fucking um, crucial to certain individuals, you know. I think one thing that definitely kills graffiti is definitely social media, you know, it can make people's head get bigger. Not only that, it's an easy access for people to reach you. Not only that, um, kind of gives out the whole going out and seeing it all over the streets, you know, because it has a different feel to it. And I don't think pictures or videos do justice to certain spots unless you're there in person. And um, also the reason I disappeared, I guess, you know, this is my, you know, my wake up call. And what I mean by wake up call is the fact that I didn't think I would reach my 30s. When I was 18, I told myself, like, live fast, die young. It's all good. Let's go hard as fuck while we're here. I don't see myself growing up or doing all this, I guess, normal shit that society does, you know? So let's just fucking do everything we can right now. Little do I know, of course. I fucking make it to this age and I'm like, oh shit, you know, I should have a plan and everything, you know. Everything's just crumbling, you know, from left to right, you know, fucking. I got people over here betraying me. I got fucking motherfuckers that don't want to fucking pay up. I got, I'm losing jobs left and right. Dealing, then I don't know where fucking, you know, depression hits. So fucking, you know, my substance abuse fucking kicks in. Um... Yeah, I fucking literally had no fucking money in my fucking pocket. My fucking car breaks down. Pretty much kind of like homeless and shit. So, yeah, I was in a huge little, you know, fucking juggling everything, you know, and fucking got lost within that. And I just said, fuck it. Technically, the year or the year and a half before that, I told myself, you know, like, if shit doesn't work out, fuck it. Like, fuck life, you know? And what I mean by that is that technically, you know, I've always been kind of like an emo, you know, I hated life. Like, I fucking don't feel like living. I want to fucking die. And then once again, it comes down to my boy Mort 
that's uh, another story right there. The way I ran into him on a billboard and fucking, you know, that's the spark of, uh, you know, me fucking wanting to live. I was just like, man, fucking, you know, I just let life fucking do its worst, you know. And um, I, I don't know. I just said, fuck everything. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I don't I don't give a shit about none of this anymore. Like, for, for all I care, fucking God can strike me right now. I'm fucking ready to go see him, you know. Took a while to get my mind right, you know. I fucking just let go. I don't know what the fuck it was that just sparked into my head that I was just like, you know what? Nah, fuck this shit. Nah, 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 nah. Like, I'm getting back on my game, yo. Like, nah, I'm not going to let this affect me. This person fucking get away with that. This fucking go this way. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Fuck all that shit. I'm coming back. Like, I'm a fucking, you know, I strategized everything. Fucking took myself to get help. Took myself to fucking... Um, you know, just fucking get back, but get back on track. You know, I was like, nah, this is not the way I'm gonna let shit go. It's sad that it had to happen, but at the same time, I'm fucking, you know, other people would probably be embarrassed about speaking about this shit. I'm fucking stoked about it. Like, I'm glad I went through some fucking hard shit like that. Maybe that's just the way I learned, but that shit just fucking gave me a boost of energy that I was like, nope. All right, first, get myself some help. Get my mind fucking ready. All right, now just make sure. Let's get back on track. Let's fucking make sure nobody sees exactly what it is we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. All right, I'm at zero dollars. How the fuck am I going to get this amount of fucking money? Because I need to fucking obviously pay for bills. I need to fucking maintain myself and maintain others because I already know it's going to come, you know? So I had to figure all that shit out. And then it's like, all right, exactly how am I going to come back into the game? All right, you know? I've always had a strategy where it's like, oh, um, first you go hit your fucking, um, your quick spots, you know, like what I mean by quick spots are like the, either the little tiny spots or the, the ones that are going to run and you want to do those shits all over the city. Okay. And it still doesn't make enough noise, but they're everywhere. Then you do the normal shit. All right. This is the shit like people are kind of eyeball too, you know, and you got to have those scattered around the city. Then the next ones, you start dropping the nukes. And by the nukes, I mean, like, those are the, the fucking eye-opening fucking spots right there. And when you drop those, the next two that you did before that kind of start to present themselves. So now it's like, oh, shit, fucking that fool just did that. Then that's sick. The minute they leave that spot, guess what? They're going to run into one of the normal shit. And then when they go to the other side of the city, they're going to run into one of those small things. So no matter what, all that kind of goes together, you know, and that's a recipe that I've always used since I first started. So, you know, at the end of the day, there's been certain individuals saying certain things, you know, and at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you know, I went down that fucking hole and I fucking was at my lowest. Well, what's your excuse? I fucking just came back after two years and you're still in the same place. I've only been here for a few months and I'm already fucking taking over. So catch up.